Hey y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. I'm back again today with a nail art tutorial featuring Madame Glam. They did send me a beautiful box full of pretty awesome goodies. This is the last product that I'm testing, so if you're interested in seeing any of these others, they are available on my YouTube channel right now. If you're interested in purchasing anything from Madame Glam, you can use my coupon code SLO30 to save 30%. The product I'm testing out today is one of the Chrome Mirror Pigments. This is in the shade of Phoenix, so this is a very vivid gold. It does have instructions a run down on the back. I'm going to show you how this swatched over black is the one, also from Madame Glam, and I do have a full swatch and review of that if you're interested. You do get five grams of this product, and it retails at about $8, so that's a good amount, and a little bit really is going to go a long way with these pigments. It also does come with an applicator brush, which I was really excited to see. I wasn't aware that it came in the package. It just makes application so much easier. It's just like a little sponge eyeshadow brush, but it really does make a difference. So here I have two coats of Black is the One by Madame Glam. Here's a view of Phoenix in direct sunlight. So this is a very bright, true gold. It's super, super fine. So I did bring this outside so I don't get any of the fallout everywhere because there is going to be a good amount of fallout. So next what you want to do is just rub it right over your either no white gel, no white gel top coat, or a water-based top coat. This is going to burnish right into that finish and make a gorgeous reflective chrome finish. This is a very bright gold, but once you top coat it, it does kind of burnish down a little bit to a deeper, almost bronze shade. So here I'm going to try to get off the excess powder. I did kind of have to wash my hands to remove all of that all over my skin, but that's no problem at all. So here's a look at what that looks like at just one coat in direct sunlight at an angle. Next, I thought I would use some of the 3D gel that I reviewed. This is in the shade of licorice to do a 3 3D design on top of this gold finish and then see how well the powder adheres to this. This does have a tacky finish once you cure it underneath a gel or UV or LED lamp. So I was a little bit leery on how this would work. I just did a little freehand kind of floor in the corner of my nail. I did cure it down and then remove that tacky layer. I'm going to show you how Phoenix applied over this 3D enhancement just like I did over the polish. It did an okay job. I found that all the high spots though I'd got no pigment so it didn't want to really stick to that finish. I think what you could do is just go over this with a no wipe top coat and then go back in with the powder to make it look completely cohesive. So here's a look at that completed mani at an angle in direct sunlight. If you'd like to see more photos, I do have those available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com or you can follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. I will link Madam Glam's storefront and social media down below. So thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.